How's it going everyone? My name is Dave and welcome to another Discussions and Rants video. Before I start this video, I might start doing this ever. I'll try to remember to start doing this, but um, before you guys watch this um, video, fair warning, this is just my thoughts on the matter that I'm going to be talking about. Um, I ask that you guys try to refrain from giving any hate or anything like that. If you got your own opinions, um, leave them in the comments below. Just try to avoid um, hating on what my thoughts are, if you can, please. That being said, the reason I say that, at least for this one, is because the question that I came across that I was going to talk about, I keep looking down at it actually, is does free will exist? Or is every action predetermined? Now this is kind of something based off that I've discussed before in a different video. Um, where I talk about, or I think I've talked about it in a previous video before, I don't know. But I, either way, I'll bring it up now. Where the idea, at least what I think, is that it's kind of a little bit of both. It's not particularly that free will doesn't exist. Um, it does exist, but at the same time, I still do believe that every action was predetermined to its own extent. But here's what I mean by that. How I see it is that it wasn't just one action predetermined. It was... what The way I see it, or the way I look, I look at it, is that I, th I think myself that prior to um physical life i think that um at least this is what i've come to believe that every action that has been made is one of multiple predetermined paths and every single path was predetermined to have very specific outcomes now this makes it, this makes things seem very unlikely to many, I bet, because some will, a lot of people will probably come up and say, but there are thousands of different outcomes for several different things that could happen. Like this, 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 or this. I'm not going to list anything specific, but, and yeah, that is accurate, but, I mean, pre-life, you don't really know how much time was presented in the pre-life. You could have spent, like, years and years, decades, centuries, who knows how long, just predetermining every single possible path um, presented. That's what my thoughts are on the whole predetermined part. What about free will, though? How does this impact free will? Well... That just show go. I what I think is that free will is extended further than just current life. Even then, free will existed, and the it allowed the uh, the ideals of hey, we're still going to allow you free will in your physical life by creating a path for each individual possible choice. As I said before, allowing free will now, but, and I know I've mentioned this in some other video before, There's always, there are always those decisions that no matter what decision you make, there are some things that are just inevitable. Um, that's why I, that, that's what makes me believe that predetermined timelines were created. Because, like for example... A lot has happened over time to create to make this happen in the long haul, but and the, the girlfriend I'm with now, um, I I honestly believe it would have been inevitable for her to be with me anyway, no matter what kind of path, with no matter what circumstances happened. Not many people believe in inevitability like I do, but that's just a very vague um, described example of what I'm talking about. Free will does exist, but based off your decisions, there are some inevitable circumstances that cannot be avoided. Like, things that just give you trials. That's probably the best way to look at it. 
the inevitable things are the trials that were predetermined. But the outcomes of these tri said trials are the things that free will provides. Um, for example, there was a point in time in my life where I was struggling financially greatly. Um, if it wasn't for my parents who helped me out at said given point in time, I probably would be living on the streets right now. Um, but, and they did have that choice. However, I feel like one way or the other, it would have been inevitable for me to end up in the predicament of having enough finance to go off of anyway. Either that or it would have been inevitable that someone would have helped me out, whether it was my parents or, um, at the time my girlfriend, because it was someone else at the time. Um, or just a very close friend of mine. I didn't, don't really have many of those. Didn't then, but I, there were always those people who always reach out. I just feel like no matter what happens, there's always, the there are always those specific details that are predetermined, but uh, don't particularly get in the way of free will, the freedom to choose. Because there are always, there's all there's always going to be a specific outcome for each individual choice. That's just kind of a given. Um, this isn't much to talk about, I know, um, <clears throat> but as a little bit of an add-on to this before I close out for today, um, there I I'm not saying that like. You predetermine what your decisions are going to be, uh, allowing free will to happen. Because I don't think maybe there's one individual, like one higher being or something, who can always like see what's going to happen before it even happens. For those who are Christian or Catholic or um, Mormon or stuff like that, it'd be God or Elohim. I think is the name that the legitimate name that it, he goes by uh, when he's not going by the title God. Um, or Jeho Jehovah, depending on what time era as well. And then there's like Buddha or characters like that. They all kind of round up. They're all higher beings. And I always, I do really believe that no, whatever religion it is, whatever higher being you believe in, I do really believe that that particular person knows what's going to happen, but still allowed us to make our own stories and create timelines that would follow up to whatever decisions we made. I know it, that's just a small add-on to what I've already said, but I do believe it to be true that both free will and predetermined fate does exist. But the predetermined fates follow up based off the decision off of free will. I think they just kind of go hand in hand rather than one overpowering the other. I just don't think it's very suitable to think that one overpowers the other. But that's just my thoughts. I want to know what you guys think. Um, do you agree with what I've said or do you have a different idea? Whatever it may be, if you've got additional things you want to add or if you believe something else, let me know in the comments below. I legitimately want to hear. Um, if you did like this video, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I do one of these type of videos every week. Uh, most of the time it's gaming. Speaking of, if you want to check out more of these types of videos, I'll have a link to that on this side, whereas a random game uh, play whether I'm doing it now or I've done it prior to this, whatever it might be. Um, I'll have one of those on this side over here. However, in the meantime, I'm going to head out, but I'll catch you guys later. Bye now.